Hello everyone, welcome back to Code Prime. So in this JavaScript tutorial series number 20, we are going to learn this JavaScript global and the local variable. So how it's used and how it's work about this local variable. So it's basically work for the function. So first of all, let's try to understand about the global variable. So global variable is work from the anywhere of this outside of anywhere. So where you are going to writing this outside this function. So it will be work from this anywhere places and for this and then the local variable. So this is work only from the inside of this function. If you are provide time to ask him for this version about this for this variable using from this outside of the local variable then it will be not work so let's see the example so we have take a function over here this function and when we are taking a value this of our variable which is 10 and it is using for this outside of this function then it will be as a global variable or we can take this variable also after this end of this function curly braces it also will be work over there so if we take that global variable and this will be take only inside of this function if we're taking this variable b in this outside of this or in the startup then it will be not work so let's see how it's work and we'll be do the practically about it so let's start this video right now here here you can save open my base creator so here i'm going to create a file that which is global and local variable dot so i'm creating here global and local variable dot js now save this file and just hide this of our left side of window now just back to index.html file now we have to connect over this global variable global and local variable dot js file now we have connected it now save this file and now we're going to watching this the live preview one here this is i've already opened this folder over here if you don't want to know how to open it so you can just click on to right click and click on to open with the live server and then it will open this this our index.html file will be on the live server on this Whatever we do in our global.local variable.js, this will be automatically updated on our index.html file and it will be updated on the browser over here. Now, first of all, I'm going to take a function over here, then it will be used for global and local variable. So let me take a function and I'm going to take a inbuilt default function which is hello function name and then taking curly braces over here. And now we will call this function from here. This is hello. And this is hello function will be called over here now there is we're going to using that global variable so first of all here i'm using the var a is equal to 10. so this way i provide this is for the this is basically for the global variable as i've said that global variable always work for the outside whatever you are, where you are providing it it will work from the outside this var a equal 10 so i'm going to print it this over here so inside of this so i'm using the document dot right and here the a now save this file and you can see that a is over here this is a is 10 and it was printed over here so this is if we're changing here any a string over here so i'm changing a string so which is i'm writing a code prime text now save this file you can see the code prime was displayed over here so this is i'm just going to make it a little bit of zoom so that you can understand easily so this now this is global is when we are providing it outside of this function on the top it is working perfectly but now if i'm going to this copy this and i'm just going to out of this in the outside of this this which means in the footer side of the word there global variable so let's see if it works okay so it was still not working okay let me assign a different value over here i'm going to adding it so i'm adding here my name um, I'm just adding simple here the learn coding learn coding so I've write it now I just assign a new value and I'm going to print it again here just copy this upper document dot write now just press it here and here you can see this was this printed this one this our learn coding when we have presented this a new value it was printed over here but if i don't want to provide this variable over here and i'm just saving it you can see that code prime on this variable it was printed two times one is here and another one is here so i'm just going to add a break over here so that it will be display as a break line so i'm adding a break over here now save this file you can see there is a two variable so which is this one variable of our global and it was working from this or inside of this function or also it's working from our outside of this function so now if i'm going to provide a value on this or inside of it so i'm just 
making our global variable is comment and i'm just copying this one and i'm just going to provide this variable into our this section over here so i'm providing it here and save this file so now you can see there is one time it was printed but it was printed only this one so this only this and this is the local variable when you're providing it inside of a function this is local variable and it is working is only this one but this one is not working it will be showing something error over there now we'll be see one our inspection mode or we can double directly press on our f12 button there we can see on the console over here there we can see the global variable and this is the line number six okay this is line number six not global variable over here the reference is not defined over here this is line number six and there we can see six number this is function over here this is we have printed but this is not defined on this line so we can see there we can see exactly the console over here so there you can see this line of this this is reference is that at is this defined is not defined here so it means this one you are using that local variable and you are going to accessing that using outside of this function then it will be not work so this is the difference of global and local variable so global will be work from the anywhere wherever we are placing it and the local will be work inside of this function outside it will be not work so i hope you understand that how the global and local variable works and how it works so in this tutorial we are going to learn about this because in future some of the tutorial we are going to using that so that you will not get any confusion so that's why i told you that this the global and local variable in before starting them so that you can understand that the next step is really from there so i hope you understand the process if you have any question about it you can give me the comment section below and if you enjoy our video tutorial please like our videos and share these videos with your friends also so that all they can also learn about it and if you want to getting more tutorials just like this, please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so that you will never miss any tutorial from us.